Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. And first of all, I'd just like to say thanks to all the people who have sent me messages through Facebook and my channel email. I read those maybe about once or twice a week. So if I don't get right back to you, that doesn't mean I'm not going to get back to you. And I've had a lot of good messages lately. I just want to say that. And I have been looking at some news reports that have come out today in the ancient history field. And I don't do a lot of videos on news reports, usually because I'm usually a few days behind and other channels usually beat me to it. But this is one report that I thought was very interesting. This is from Archaeology, and this has just come out in the last 24 hours. And it says here, and I have never done a video on the Denisovans, so this is one I wanted to do. It says, Nature News reports that a fossil discovered in 1980 in the Boshaya Kars Cave, which is located on the Tibetan Plateau, has been identified as a partial Denisovan jawbone. The mandible is described as having a robust primitive shape that shares anatomical features with Neanderthals and Denisovan molars recovered from Russia's Denisova Cave. And I have been just starting to research the Denisovans, and I don't know a lot about them, so I always appreciate comments from people who have looked into this topic a little more thoroughly than I have. Researchers were not able to recover DNA from the jawbone fossil, which is estimated to be at least 160,000 years old. But molecular anthropologist Frieda Welker of the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology and the University of Copenhagen said researchers were able to extract collagen proteins from the dentine preserved in the JAWS-2 very large molars. Analysis of these highly degraded proteins suggests that the individual was closely related to Denisovans who lived in the Altai Mountains. And because of the teeth was still erupting from the jaw, scientists think the individual was an adolescent at the time of death. Some modern Tibetans carry a gene variant that allows them to live at high altitudes Walker explained that the Denisovans living on the Tibetan Plateau may have developed this adaptation and passed it on to modern humans some 30 to 40,000 years ago. And it gives a further link to look into this story. But for sure, the early story of humans is still unfolding and we're making new discoveries really every week. So I wanted to report on this story. I will leave the link to this article below. I will also leave the link to this article. This came out maybe about uh, three months ago. This is on Live Science, and this is the Denisova Cave. I'm sure a lot of you have heard Graham Hancock talk about this in his recent lectures, and also Andrew Collins. I know he has some videos where he, he mentions the Denisovans, so please leave any links. I'll try to look at the spam folder to see if any of those comments go there. And uh, I appreciate all the information I can get on this, but I thought I'd report on this today. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.